Originally starting as a mod for Half-Life 2, Portal quickly gained fame and positive reactions from Half-Life 2 fans. This of course led to the release of Portal 2 as a standalone game. The story and the plot of the two games is quite simple. A crazy robotic AI forces the player to go through a series of levels or tests with a reward in the end. Simple, right? Well, not quite. The robotic AI's name is GLaDOS, which stands for Genetic Lifeform and Disk Operating System. GLaDOS has quite a background story and a bigger role in the plot than you initially expect, but we'll explore that later. Shell, the main protagonist in the two games, and the character the players control also has an important background story. At one point in the game, the player reaches a room filled with signs, text, and desks indicating that a bring your daughter to work day has been going on, and some text on one of the boards has the name Shell, hinting that Shell might actually be the daughter of one of the employees in the lab. Oh, right, did we mention that GLaDOS went insane and killed everyone in the lab with neurotoxin? Well. Everyone in the lab died from neurotoxin, except one employee. The enigmatic dog Ratman, a paranoid schizophrenic who somehow manages to avoid GLaDOS and hides in between the waters, walls, shafts, and other hidden areas in the lab and test rooms. After killing all employees, GLaDOS wakes up the test subjects to force them to go through a series of tests. Ratman, acting on a hunch, sneaks into the test subjects' filing room and arranges Shell as the first one on GLaDOS' list for test subjects, thus leading to the events of Portal. Doug Ratman, however, is never seen in the game, and his fate remains unknown. However, leftovers and hidden dens can be found throughout the test rooms in Portal 2, indicating he went to take refuge there for some time. Signs, text, and drawings can be seen often on the walls drawn and written by Ratman, who is trying to warn, explain, or express himself. At one point in Portal 2, the player can get close to Ratman, in one of the hidden dens filled with leftovers from him. The player can hear the barely sane Ratman talking to himself and chanting illogically, but if one tries to listen and make out the words Ratman repeats, some really interesting hints can be heard. Here is Ratman chanting. <laughs> Here is Ratman chanting with subtitles. Here is Ratman chanting slow down with subtitles. <laughs> Oh, 
Now that we managed to explain at least a little about Ratman, instead of finding answers, we have more questions. What is Ratman actually talking about? What does Black Mesa have to do with it since it's an area from a whole different game? Well, let's try to analyze and theorize this. In his ranting, Doug Ratman mentions the lines, They took me to Mesa. I'm going through mutation. It's gone, sir. It's stolen. The ship is stolen. She lives. The ship is gone. To Mesa Hill, that's where it all started. They took me to Mesa, I'm going through mutation. This is a more theorized one. Is Ratman's trip to insanity actually because he was taken to Black Mesa? Black Mesa, by the way, is another experimental and research facility competing with Aperture. Why was he taken there, and what mutation is he talking about? We do not have any definite answers to this, but could it be because Black Mesa was trying to sabotage Aperture science? Because Aperture was far ahead than Black Mesa. It's gone, sir. It's stolen. The ship is stolen. Now this is a very interesting one. The ship Ratman is referring to, we believe, is the Borealis. Borealis was a research vessel for Aperture Science. During their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, something went terribly wrong, which led to the disappearance of the ship. The Borealis is believed to contain a very powerful and dangerous secret involving other dimensions and realities. The ship is found by the player in Half-Life 2, in which one of the characters reacts in amazement. This connects Half-Life and Portal, which obviously shows us that Portal and Half-Life events happen in the same universe. In one area of Portal 2, the player using the Portal Gun can enter a hidden large dock area where it is believed the Borealis was before it disappeared. She lives. This one is a bit more creepy. The CEO of Aperture Science was Cape Johnson, who had an assistant, Caroline. Due to Johnson's health issues, he did not have much time to live. He orders for Caroline to be put in charge of the facility. We do not know if she did so willingly or against her will, but Caroline would ultimately become the personality core of Gladys. It works. Caroline's personality is in robotic AI, but something goes terribly wrong. Have you noticed that GLaDOS looks like a woman tied up upside down? Creepy, isn't it? The ship is gone, to Mesa Hill, that's where it all started. According to Ratman, the disappearance of Borealis has something to do with Black Mesa, in which creatures from other dimensions came through a portal in the human world. He does mention that Black Mesa is the place where everything started. It is believed these creatures, known in Half-Life 2 as the Combine, stole it to use it to open more portals to other dimensions. Now that we know who Cape Johnson is and who Caroline is, remember when we told you that Shell is the daughter of one of the employees? Many players and fans of Portal have a good reason to believe that Shell is actually the daughter of Cape Johnson and Caroline. Many times during the game, GLaDOS often makes fun of Shell for being adopted, and it's not a secret that Cape Johnson and Caroline were close, really close. According to one theory by fans, Cave and Caroline had a child. However, due to their dedication to Aperture Science, they couldn't spend time with their child, so they let one of the employees to adopt her so they can still keep an eye on their daughter. Some also believe that Ratman is the one who adopted Shell, since he knows well that she is highly intelligent, just like her parents, which is the reason he made it so that her name is on top of the subject test list. Who else to stop GLaDOS, uh, aka Caroline, other than her own daughter? 
Clues leading to this theory is in Ratman's ranting, where he says, Little girl, it's okay, and constantly says Shell's name. Another clue is the end song in Portal 2, which is sung in Italian, and the reason why GLaDOS drastically changes her behavior towards Shell. Something we do not expect from a hostile killing AI, despite the truce GLaDOS and Shell made in the second part of Portal 2. However, listen to the song with the English translation. What happens to Ratman? What does the Borealis contain that is so important? These questions and many more still remain unanswered. The story of Portal, Half-Life, and the connection between the two franchises is a real mind-boggling puzzle. The more answers we find, the more mysteries and questions show up. And not to mention this person. For more theories and accurate answers, we need to wait and hope for the continuation of the two games.